Okay, so some help for the mini IA for semester two. In your investigation, we want you to focus on use of a, a Google document. You need to produce your own Google document for this. We're looking at use of the equation editor and your ability to create geometrical diagrams. You cannot copy and paste screenshotting any of the diagrams from the document here given. You must produce your own diagrams. So it's really important that you learn those skills and that's what we're focusing on. So I would suggest by starting by opening up a Google document, um, putting in a title. One way to structure the work, uh, as you can see in how I've structured it in my document, is to use a table. So I would suggest clicking insert table and then just add yourself a bunch of rows like this for the different questions. Work with this space and then at the end we'll remove the table borders and it looks kind of neat. So I'm just going to do the second one here. Um, looking at the document, we need to do the five-sided polygon called the pentagon um, and to determine the angle sub. So I might give it a subheading in here and say angle sum in a pentagon. Select this, maybe make it bold because it's a little bit of a heading. So then I need a diagram for that. So to create my diagram, I suggest you go to geogebra.org slash classic. Geogebra.org slash classic. Don't use the um, don't use the graphing calculator, use the classic version. When you're in the tool, it will look like this. And what we can do is we want you to draw a pentagon. So select the polygon tool here at the top. Here in the polygon tool, we can choose to make a regular polygon. It has you define the length of one side by making two clicks. So we'll make two clicks like this and we get one side. And we can tell it how many vertices. Now a pentagon has five vertices because it has five sides. And it will draw it our pentagon. Some other tips that we can do is we can click up here and we can remove um, sorry, let me just undo that. Select my move tool. I select the move tool like this. I can click on this here and I can remove the axes and I can remove the grid lines. So now I can see my tool. I want to show how many lines I can divide this into and how many triangles I divide it up into. It divides up into three triangles. We might want to get rid of some of these labels. Notice the lines are labeled and so are the vertices. So if I have the move tool selected again here, click on a line. You can see I've selected this line because it's gone gray over here. And then I can select on the labeling and have the label hidden. So just click through the different elements, such as the different lines or the different vertices. And you can choose to remove the label from each one. You can also change the color here so that the colors match. And then I'm happy with my diagram. I click somewhere else on the um, on the board so that it unselects the last vertex so it doesn't look sort of highlighted like that. Once I'm done and I'm happy with my diagram, I can screenshot this. And then depending which computer you're using, you can clip out the necessary part that you wish to use. So I want to use a little clipping tool like this. And I can stick that into my document, which is the Google document over here somewhere. Where is it? There. That's my diagram. I resize it as I want. Now, if I want to have the text side by side with it, I can um, type it over here. Your text should be um, in the equation editor. So click insert, go down to equation, and then we can sort of say angle sum equals, we've got, um, you, we want to put a bracket in. Whenever you're using the equation editor, never use the brackets from the keyboard. They won't resize correctly. Always use the brackets given shown here. So I'm going to put the brackets in like this. We have five minus two sides. And then this is going to be multiplied by 
180 the degree symbol back here somewhere looking for the degree symbol okay if i can't find it i click insert special character i type the word degree and it should find us the degree symbol there it is click on it once it inserts it there it is it's appeared so this is equal to 540, let me insert special character again, type in the word degree, there it is, 540 degrees. <coughs> so once I'm finished with my document and I want to sort of reformat it a little bit neatly, I can select the table like this. I can resize very easily the columns uh, or the rows and things. And then I can click on these three dots here, choose the border color and turn it into white. So when it goes white like that, doesn't you don't actually see it on the page. So if I, I zoom out a little bit, you see it looks a little bit more like a document, but you're controlling the structure of the and the flow of the text on the page using the tables like that, and you get something that's kind of neat. All right, well, that's a little bit of help for that one. Uh, good luck, everybody.